Aaron's Barak to Israel, Numbers chapter 6, verse 22 to 27. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and his son, saying, On this wise ye shall barak the children of Israel, saying unto them, Ye baraka Yahweh, u ye shemarka, ye ar Yahweh pani u alika, u ye kanka, ye sha Yahweh pani u alika, u ye sham laka shalom. Literal translation of Aaron's Barak to Israel. Yahweh Barak you and watch you. Shine Yahweh his face to you and be gracious to you. Be lifted up Yahweh his face to you and be named to you. Shalom. As I have shown you, Barak is usually used to bestow some positive attribute upon someone. I have more to share concerning this word which the Manakati language reveals such as the hand sign and symbolic meaning. This information is not known and I am revealing it to my team players. The link will be in the description and on patreon.com backslash Batya. This information is not ready to be released to the masses because I need more support to be able to deliver the full information of this language. Currently, I have 16 players and I need 104 more. Team players receive the fruit of my labors before everyone else. Team players help me by supporting me with a monthly gift to help keep the website and app running and free up some of my time to create videos like these and write books. Without my team players, this information will not come out on a timely fashion. If you want to learn the secret hand sign of Barak and how to Barak someone and gain exclusive access to Manakati.com and Aitari.com and receive a copy of my latest books as I release them, download PDF and get a link to the team player Telegram chat, then visit Patreon.com backslash Batya. Thank you for watching this video. Download the app iThoughty to access all of what I do. Like this video and share it to get the word out. This is Aran's Barak to Israel. Knowing the hand sign and symbolic meaning is imperative, but so is knowing the hand sign and symbolic meaning of all Manakati words. If this information matters to you, then I would have more team players. This is a labor of love for me, but I should... Um, be doing it as a labor of work. I should work on this language full time. I feel like my energy is wasted working full time doing some random job when I should be doing Yahweh's work concerning this language. Watch my video Fun and the Truth to learn how financial support was used in the scriptures by the priest. Shalom.